So I received this question on YouTube and I really enjoyed this question um, and I wanted to cover it quite quickly because it's, it's an interesting question. And it reads, I have a small attic apartment and I can't meet the recommended minimum distance for the four ceiling speakers. What setup do you recommend 7.1.2 or 5.1.4? I think 7.1.4 and 9.1.4 is not possible in my small room. Okay, now, the, the speakers. So, ceiling height is very important. Put it this way, I had Kerry Thomas come in the other day from Apple and he walked into the room and he looked at the ceiling speakers and he went, put his hand up, he went, yep, yeah, they're high enough. And he knows that they are, he, he knows that him putting his hand up like that is the the specified height and uh, that was one of the first things he looked at because I haven't got a massively high ceiling in this room um, and if you if you do look at any of the pictures of the ceiling that I've posted I've cut into the ceiling to house the speakers in the ceiling up into the ceiling a bit more and the reason for that is you need to have a, a minimum ceiling height I think it's, um, I think it's, what is it? Is it eight foot? 2.4 meters, I think it is. Um, so they have to be bang on, and mine are bang on within a couple of millimeters. Um, it is important. Now, it's important if you want to go down the route of going, Dolby, will you certify my room? Because what they'll do is they'll look at that and they'll go, they're way too low. We can't certify your room. The ceiling height is um, is not within the minimum specifications. But that doesn't mean that you can't put speakers a lot lower. I've seen plenty of studios um, fit Dolby Atmos, and I look at them and I go, "Blimey, that's going to sound bad. That must sound bad." Um, because I don't see any sort of room correction in terms of a Trinov or anything like that. And I see like, you know, speakers that are positioned wrong. They're not, they're not positioned right. Um, so I, I, and I know what it sounds like to have a great sounding room like this. And I know what it sounds like to have a bad sounding room. I've been in Dolby Atmos rooms, which aren't well put together and they sound terrible. Um, only because I have this kind of bar that's set up here. But regarding the ceiling height, you can go lower if you have to look, if you have to go lower, go lower. But what you can do is you can fit something like a Trinov, which will correct that. Basically, if you go lower, for instance, right, say you're only a couple of foot above your head. The, the distance in time that it takes for that speaker to reach you um, is a lot shorter than the distance of time it takes for the other speakers to reach you. There are going to be some sort of phase issues, but you can correct for this by using something like a Trinov. Uh, I've done plenty of videos talking about the Trinov and how important it is in, in Dolby Atmos. It would be even more important when you consider um, a room that's not built to the spec, the, um, the minimum specifications for Dolby Atmos. Um, but with regards to your, you, you saying, do I fit 7.1.2 or 5.1.4? Always do, you need to do a minimum. Your minimum needs to be 7.1.2. For it to be Dolby Atmos, it needs to be 7.1.2. Now, would would I fit two on the ceiling or would I fit four? Fit four speakers on the ceiling. Don't fit two. Now, the reason I'll say don't fit two is that when you pan onto the ceiling, if you only have two speakers, like let's say they're just center, you get no front and back on the on the ceiling speakers. So you'll never, you'll always get like, it's like having, um, it's like mono basically on the ceiling. Um, because you've you can't you can't do front and back. You can only do ceiling. 
So you you put it on the ceiling. You've only got there. Whereas I've got four. So I've got I've got ceiling front and back. So I can go back and forward on the ceiling. Whereas if you only have two speakers on the ceiling, you just go onto the ceiling and left and right. So it's you're limiting yourself greatly with your uh, the accuracy of of how your ceiling's going to sound. Um, and the ceiling's important. It's not as important as your LCR, but the ceiling is um, understandably important if you're going to put things up on onto the top. Um, so I would say definitely you you want to go seven point one point four. Don't go seven point one point two um, unless you have to. And I, I'm 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 imagining the reason you're saying do I go seven point one point two um and you want to go 7.1.2 is because your your attic has a has a kind of pitched roof like that where you can fit the two speakers at your um at at the right height or or, or at a higher height but um if if that is the case look if that is the case then you can just go to the ceiling speakers aren't the most important right you're not putting the majority of sound up on the ceiling it's just better to have two so you uh, have four so you can go front and back left and right and kind of have this this um kind of um square that you can move sound in um in terms of 5.1.4 don't go 5 don't don't go down cuz if you go to 5 you're you're basically fitting 5.1 with ceiling speakers so you have to go you have to do Dolby Atmos in seven, seven round the sides, which is your LCR, um, your hard left and right, and your back left and right. That's your that's your seven. I've got I've got um, I've got nine point one point four, which I've got an extra two um, kind of far left and right, uh, which give me give me a better better idea of of width uh, across the front. Uh, so they're quite important, and they're they're. Um, I would recommend going, uh, obviously, if you can, go 9.1.4, go 9.1.4. But ultimately, when when you are, there's, as soon as you say you're fitting your room into an attic, um, in terms of Dolby Atmos, you've already got, I would imagine, like, walls, ceilings that are, are slanted. You're going to have all sorts of, of issues in terms of a room in an attic. I've, I mean, I, I've got a mate who's got a studio in an attic and it is, um, it's, it's a crazy room in terms of the way that it sounds because it's, it's, it's got all sorts of angles. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't sound, it doesn't sound amazing at all. Um, but what you can do and it will work within some degree, and and it will it won't give a one hundred percent accurate room because the room technically isn't isn't acoustically sound as is, but you can fit something like a Trinoff, um, and they are expensive. They're about twelve, ten to twelve thousand pounds for a um, for a uh, one that you need for Dolby Atmos, which is uh, sixteen channel. Um, so. It's expensive, but it does solve all these issues that you would have. Um, <coughs> like if you had a room, the speakers were slightly lower. Um, if the speakers were slightly lower, the Trinov would correct for that. And it would help out with that. And it wouldn't make that an issue. Um, so it's... Uh, I would recommend look. I would recommend putting four on the ceiling if you can. Do put four on the ceiling just because you want that front and back as well as your left and right. So you've got that square that you can move sound all around in. Um, definitely try and put four on the ceiling. If you can't, it's not the end of the world. Put two on the ceiling. But that's if you're putting them up into a into a space that you can get that maximum, like that minimum height. Um, yeah, I hope this helps. I mean. I do hope these sorts of videos, when someone asks me a question, I really do hope they help. And these, this is from, you know, my own experience and I know how important it is. Um, like I say, my, my, my thing was I have to get that, that, that height. I had to get that height and I had to 
um, cut out into the ceiling because I needed to get certified by Dolby. I needed to get that that kind of approval from Dolby. Um, a producer or someone that's mixing not on 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 such a professional level, um, they might not necessarily need that approval, which means that you know you can you can have speakers a little bit lower you don't have to go bang on to the spec i myself had to go bang on to the spec because i needed a room that was perfect i needed to to fit basically i wanted to fit one of the best sounding rooms in the uk and i've, I've achieved that with the help of a trinov and with the help of dolby um spec going to the spec um so yeah uh yeah i hope this helps and uh, if you have any more questions on, on this subject, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.